What's poppin' Diva Gang? How are y'all doing today? Today we're gonna be working on some pull proof what? <laughs> pull proof press-ons. So yeah, let's get started. I'm using these extra long square nail tips. I like these, they don't have as much of a really, really high apex. The only thing though is that they can fit a little strange around like the cuticle area, but for the most part, they're really, really cute. Um yeah, I got these on Amazon. Comment below if you want the link. But yeah, I'm just doing my regular prep. I did some primer and now I'm going in with my Beatles base coat and curing for 30 seconds. Just doing one coat of that base coat. Again, I'm so sorry you guys if you can hear like car noises or anything outside. I'm trying to get y'all this content, okay? But yeah, girl, we're just going in and I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, um, stay tuned to the end for a mini vlog. I made these nails. I was going out with my boo. We were going out to the pool. We were just going to have like a, um, you know, a cute little day together and I just needed some nails real quick, you know? So I just decided to make these really, really quickly the morning of our little day out and they actually came out super cute. You guys, um, we did like kind of a no bling look this time and they just look really, really classy to me. So I'm going in with this really sheer shimmery pink color from the brand gel polish i'm not sure what number it is but any kind of sheer shimmery pink or any color that you want to use for like your natural nail bed color will work just fine and i'm going in and i'm doing two coats of that and i'm curing for 30 seconds each in my lamp and i really like this color because it's just really classy. It's like that really classy kind of nail bed color that you see with a lot of like Frenches and stuff. And what we're going for today is kind of a French inspired look. I know I probably wore y'all out last month with the French looks. So sorry if you're over it, but you know, I have a real, I have a real thing for French these days, you guys. I have quite a few French videos this month as well, so I hope you guys are enjoying. How are you guys enjoying Vlogist? Are you guys loving it? Um, I spent a lot of time just planning Vlogist, creating this content, and I'm really, really shocked at myself how like I was just able to get it done, you know? Like, I really kind of outdid myself. I. I knew it was going to be a lot of work, but to be honest, it feels like the time just breezed by and I'm just so excited to do this every year and I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, now I'm going in with some white gel polish and I'm kind of just randomly doing like, I don't know if I would call these French tips. It's definitely like French-esque, French inspired, but it's more of like a lazy kind of French tip. Um, you just want to get the white polish on there. You don't want it to, or you don't need it to be like perfect at this point because we're going to end up outlining it anyway. So if it's kind of messy, like that's okay. As you can see, I just kind of variated between like doing a half tip and doing like, um, more of a rounded kind of tip. So if you're not very good at doing French tips or, you know, like me personally, I know like, um, like the half French tips and like the V-shaped French tips are just really, really hard for me for some reason. So if you have like similar issues or problems with, with that um, design in particular, then this is a really, really good design for you to try because it's super like foolproof and it's just really, really pretty and classy. I feel like this is a really cute look if you have maybe like a wedding to go to or some kind of formal event. Um, it's funny because I was going to do these in a shorter length. I was going to do like a short square look because I thought that would be a cute little video idea. But I don't know, you guys. I had short nails on last week. Some just quick little short nails that I just threw together because um, I needed some nails really quick. And I just did not feel like myself, you guys. I mean, it was super easy to like do things and maneuver you know um my way through life but i just did not feel like myself with those super short nails i don't know why but it's super windy in my house right now and it just blew the door open and it's freaking me out but anyway um yeah after i just did two coats of that white tip 
I cured for 30 seconds and then I went in with some base coat on each of the nails. And before curing that base coat, I'm going in with this gold foil leaf. I got this ginormous um, jar of gold foil leaf off of Amazon like a little more than a year ago. And it's still, as you can see, has lasted me up until this point. So I highly recommend if you want like a good value on some gold foil leaf, check out Amazon and yeah, but I just went in before I cured that base coat and I'm just using the gold foil leaf to outline my, um, my white polish. I keep wanting to call these French tips, but they're not really French tips, are they? <laughs> but anywho, um... Yeah, I'm just going in and I'm outlining. I'm pressing down with my finger into that wet base coat to make sure that everything is flat. At this point, you do kind of want to make sure, you know, you get the foil as flat as possible. It's not going to be perfect, obviously, because we're not using acrylic or anything like that. But luckily, you know, since foil is so like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very easy to manipulate and flatten anyway you know it won't be too hard to just make sure that your design is nice and flat and in place before we go in with the next step so I'm just gonna let you guys finish watching me do this outline and then I'll be back So as you can see, everything is finished and I'm just wiping down the sides. I haven't cured anything at this point. Oh my God, is that the freaking garbage truck? That is so rude. Ugh. Anyway, I just went in and wiped down the sides before I cured everything, stuck it in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I just did the same thing to the other nail. I didn't figure you guys needed to watch that since you already saw me do it on one hand. I'm getting so fucking frustrated with all this noise going on outside. Like, I'm in here trying to work. Oh, my God, you guys. What the freak, man? Anywho, um, I need to, like, find a better place to do these voiceovers because this is ghetto. But, yeah, we really were all over here over this in this channel. But, um, yeah, I'm going in with some top coat now because we're gonna file the nails. I thought about just going over the sticky layer with some alcohol, but I was afraid that that would like deteriorate or change the color of my foil. So that is the reason why I decided to just go in with a quick little layer of top coat. It doesn't matter which top coat you use, just get it on the nail, cure for 30 seconds. And I really wanted to try and preserve the shape of these nails as much as possible as usual. So that's why you see me just continuously wiping down the sides. Now I'm going in with a 100, 180 grit nail file and I'm just very lightly like going over the surface of the nail with both the file and the buffer. You can, I mean, it is sped up here, but to be honest, this did not take me long at all. This was not very much filing that I had to do. Like I said, I just grazed over the nail really, really quickly just to get it nice and flat because I wanted this to look um, like an encapsulation of some sort. So, and it does kind of bother me when I feel too much texture on my nails. I really don't like that, to be honest. And I'm also very clumsy and I end up scratching myself a lot. That's why you guys don't see me do like a lot of Fimo or a whole, whole lot of 3D nail art on this channel just cause I'm clumsy. I'm too clumsy for that. So yeah. Um, like I said, I just buffed over the nail, made sure every area of the nail with the foil had scratches on it so that it's nice and flat. And then after I did that, I just quickly went over it with the buffer. And just this alone, I was able to get the nails super flat. I was able to make them look really, really good. And I didn't mess up any of the foil. Um, I know it looks like I'm being kind of rough, but I'm actually being very, very gentle with this little filing that I'm doing. So just in case you guys were wondering but this is how the nail should look after you file and buff it as you can see i wasn't too abrasive i didn't mess up too much of the design and now we're going in with our final final layer of top coat and 
I like this top coat that I'm using. I think I've talked to you guys about it before. It's from Jofe Fashion. That's J-O-F-A-Y. And it's super thick. It's super shiny. And it's just really, really good. Um, it reminds me a lot of like the IBD top coat. I used to use that a lot when I first started like making press on nails and stuff. And this actually reminds me of that a lot. It's really, really good quality and it was really cheap. I think I got a pack of two for like five or six dollars. Might've even been less than that. Give or take a dollar or two, but it was not expensive at all. And I got a pack of two. I really, really love when I can find um, double packs of top coat because we've had this conversation before. I stay running out of top coat and white gel polish. Comment below if that happens to you too because I am constantly having to replace my top coats, my white gel polishes, and my pink gel polishes as well. Not so much, but like if that if there were to be a third, that would definitely be it. Um, so yeah, I did my top coat, wiped down the sides, cured for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in and I'm just doing a really quick file on the side walls and also the free edge just because y'all know how I feel about shape okay and lucky for me these nails keep their shape very very well but I did still want to make sure that they were nice and square once I actually had them on my hands what I should have done was go around the cuticle area and kind of um, make those a little nice and circular because like I told you before like there's so many pros and cons to these um, these full cover tips with apexes they tend to fit around your cuticles better but there's so much space in between that it's hard to get them to stay on but anywho this is the final result what do you guys think i'm loving that glittery nail bed i think these look super classy don't these just make you want to go to like a wedding or like a really really upscale event so many people would um compliment these nails i feel like at a really really upscale type of event so yeah if you've made it this far thank you so 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 much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this little mini vlog do you guys like these little mini vlogs um i don't know i like to include these in my videos just to give you guys like a little insight into my life the stuff i be doing you know i did my toes too i just made some like press on toenails really quick and yeah me and bae just went out to the pool these nails were pool proof they looked super cute he really really liked them so yeah enjoy these few little uh clips of us being really really weird and just enjoying our time at the pool thank you guys so much for watching give this video a like so i can get recommended to more divas like you uh leave me a comment let me know which start of the video let me know how you like these mini vlogs and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos love you db gang peace Mwah.